All right, it's been a long time coming, but here it is. This is my 71 GMC. It was converted from a long bed to a short bed. You can see the, the cuts on the bed there. It's time to get ready and remove the inline six it has. And swap it out for a newer engine. Right now I'm thinking about going with a 5.3, 4.8, 6.0, I don't know. Let's see what I, I can get my hands on. Here's the old engine. It's 2.50 and 9.6. It runs, it just smokes a little, but this engine, I took it out of my 68 C10 that I have that I'm collecting parts so I could restore but, uh, at once. But for right now, I'm going to work on the 71 GMC, get this one running. On the floor, I'm gonna switch it off for an automatic, and I'm gonna be going with for the transmission mount. I'm gonna be using this Transdap part number right there, and for the motor mounts, I'm also going with Transdap. So I'm gonna go to the other side and show you. For the fuel, I'm gonna be going with the Jeep tank. Here's the part number there. Uh, sending unit there. Okay, and the fuel pump is in here. pump I'm be using AC Delco. I've had these parts for a while I just haven't had time to get around to working on it. You can see the packages are all faded from being in here in the storage. It's kind of dusty in here but some fittings and whatnot. So yeah stick around but for to start off with we gotta remove the bed. Alright, I gotta get under the bed and move six of these bolts, carriage bolts that it has. I gotta get under and pop them out. I'm gonna disconnect your wiring harness for your lights, get it all out of the way. This is what it kind of looks like under the bottom. Alright, let me get under there and take off those bolts and start pulling this bed off. Bed bolts are out. It's a total of eight. And when you're taking things apart, I recommend you keep things organized. You know, put them in Ziploc bags. I have this old soup can in here, but you know, write yourself little notes that way you can reference and not be looking for wasting time looking for uh, sockets and wrenches and stuff like that. So, you know, just a good idea. But the bolts are out. Wire harness is disconnected. Now it's time to get some help and pull this bed off. All right, everybody, it's currently another day. Bed was taken off. I also ended up removing the rear cross member that I had right here. Had some rivets, popped them out. I also removed the uh, rear. You know, the bumps up for the leaf springs. Let's see this here. Remove them out of the way. That's what it looks like. That's the tank that's going to go in there. Just got to build some brackets and put it in there. 
Well, I gotta order some straps too, cause I forgot to order straps for the Jeep Wrangler tank, but pretty much this is how it is for right now. Here's my angle iron that I'm gonna be using surface rust, but I'm repurposing metal, so that's more here. I'm sorry that I gotta pick up. 